up guys this is part four of let's make a bound java game all right um going back to coding uh before we start go back to this folder i called i created game state i don't know if you, anybody that's following along i capitalized the g and that gave some issues so i went back and lowercased it and you might have to go back up here to do the same and go back to the game state manager and do that same thing as well okay so what we're gonna do right now move on to the next step uh right click here we're gonna put a new class we're gonna call it title screen yeah as i'm gonna say this again this is pretty much the same thing that we're going through uh a simple game because if I open this, this is the old series that I did already. Um, as you can see, game state title screen right there, same thing we're doing, same thing. But let's go. So, okay, what they're gonna do first is gonna do extends game state, and you're gonna add the unimplemented methods. And I want to delete that. Delete that, delete that, delete, delete this too. Okay. We're going to start off with private and current. Twice equals zero. And private string. This is going to be a array list options. Begin game and exit game. Now add more later, but that's all we need for now. Uh, private font font private color title color private font. Control Shift O. Color, yeah. Oh, okay. And font. All right, yeah. That's what we need to do. Next, we're gonna add uh, the constructor, which is gonna be public. basic right now I'm gonna change this stuff later new font um you know what what font is what's up again let's see what they use impact Okay, and then oh. catch exception E E dot print Hmm. 
yeah g dot set color titles color g dot set font title font g dot draw string all caps no no bound Should be the title screen. We got that set up. Now we I need to implement it in the, the game panel. Let's save that and let's open up our game panel. Close up the game you know what? Main game panel. Okay, and then we're gonna let's go right here. We're gonna do private game state. Import it. Okay, press Control Shift O. Oh, I didn't spell it right. Man, I sure. Now, import, and then go to the init, and we're gonna do GSM GSM equals new game state and uh, up. But the same thing again. Game state manager. All right, and we're gonna do an update and draw method. We're gonna put gsm dot update and then draw gsm dot draw and oh g. Let's go game state manager. I don't have a draw. I don't have a draw. All right, we're gonna make some changes to the game state manager. Okay, let's change this. We're gonna put game state equals new array list. Oh, snaps. This is what I was supposed to be. Excuse me. Alright. And import control shift O, import the array list. Oh. Big problems. Oh. So, but so what's the problem now? Then? Oh, so they made it fix for me. Thank you. Oopsies. Okay. Let's continue. Current state equals you know what? let's change it. I had menu state here. 
going to put this title screen. Yeah, that way we don't get messed up. thing we're gonna do is uh gonna get rid of load state and unload state and set state let's do current state state and update we're gonna try Good, right? And public void draw Java AWT dot graphics two D G, and then try again. That's it. Sorry, guys. I know I ain't talking much because <laughs> I do a lot of typing, and I'm gonna get this thing done quick. So let's go back to the game panel, and draw. G should be fine. Everything should be fine. But we have an issue here. What's the problem? Oh, there we go. Save that as well, and let's open game and run it. Wrong one, simple game. Okay. Close you, open you, and run. Okay, there we go, abound. <laughs> there you go, plain and simple. Nothing special. Oh, I got another one. Open two times. Oh, yeah. So, this is just the title screen. Definitely gonna make this bigger, but just showing getting some starting. So this actually loaded up the title screen. So we're getting somewhere. So the next part will continue on. So thank you for watching.